What's up guys? Today we've got four beginner crosshairs that will help you improve your aim. The purpose of these beginner crosshairs is to help you learn and understand mechanics such as movement error, firing error, spraying, bursting, and recoil. So let's get into it. For our first crosshair, we have a crosshair focused on learning movement error. So for the beginner movement error crosshair, we have crosshair color green, outlines on, outline opacity one, outline thickness one, center dot is off. And then for the inner lines, we have inner lines on, one, four, two, three, movement error is off and firing error is off. And then for the outer lines, we have these on, outer line opacity is 0 0.5, outer line length is two, Outer line thickness is 2, outer line offset is 8, movement error is on, movement error multiplier is 1, firing error is off, and firing error multiplier is 1. And the way this crosshair works is that the central crosshair, the inner lines, won't change at all. What will change will be the outer lines, and the outer lines will move outwards when you're moving, and they'll come back to touch the center crosshair when you're not moving, letting you know that you are accurate. The next crosshair that we have is a crosshair focused on firing error. For the firing error crosshair, we have crosshair color green, outlines are on, outline opacity is 1, outline thickness is 1, and center dot is off. For the inner lines, we have these on, and the numbers are 1, 4, 2, 3, movement error is off, firing error is off. For the outer lines, we have these on, outer line opacity is 0 0.5, outer line length is 2, outer line thickness is 2, outer line offset is 4, movement error is off, and firing error is on. Movement error multiplier is 1, and firing error multiplier is 1. The way this crosshair works is pretty similar to the first crosshair. The center crosshair won't change at all. What will change is the outer lines, and the longer you hold down the fire button, the further away from the main crosshair the outer lines will get. And so that will show that you are less and less accurate. So what you want to do is shoot in short bursts so that the firing error is minimized and you're accurate as much as possible. So you want to shoot in bursts of maybe three to five bullets at a time. For the spray crosshair, we have crosshair color green, outlines on, outline opacity one, outline thickness one, center dot off. For the inner lines, we have this as on, the numbers are one, four, two, three, movement error off, firing error off. For the outer lines, we have these on, outer line opacity is 0 0.5, outer line length is two, outer line thickness is two, and outer line offset is 40. Movement error is off and firing error is off. You can also use this crosshair to learn about recoil. And recoil is when your crosshair starts to point upwards, when your gun starts to point upwards because you can, you're continuously firing. To counteract the crosshair and the gun moving upwards, you usually pull your mouse down so that most of your bullets continue to hit the same spot. But when you stop firing, the crosshair will drop back to its original position that it started at. So if you pulled your mouse down while you were firing to adjust for the recoil going pushing your gun up, that means that when you stop firing, you would have to push your mouse back up to adjust for the reduction in recoil and the gun returning to its original position. For the bursting crosshair, you'll want to go to the general tab over here and then change fade crosshair of firing error to on. Go to your primary tab and then change crosshair color to green, outlines to on, outline opacity to one, outline thickness to one, center dot to off. Your inner lines are going to be on and the numbers are 1, 4, 2, 3. Movement error is off and firing error is off. For the outer lines, we'll change these to off and so none of these settings will matter. So this crosshair will fade the top line of your crosshair when your spray starts to go left and right. So obviously you don't really want to be getting into that range because that's when you'll become even less accurate. So whenever the top of your crosshair fades, then you'll want to stop spraying. Ideally, you'll keep your burst to three to five bullets to maintain the accuracy as much as possible, but sometimes you just don't. In those situations, you can use this indicator to know and to remind yourself to stop spraying. Spike here. Charges left.
So there was one additional tip that I forgot to mention while recording the content for this video, and that's why I'm recording this now. Um, it's probably the most important tip for using these crosshairs. Before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if this content was helpful or interesting to you. There'll be more videos coming in the future. So the tip that I'm talking about is to use these crosshairs to check your aim when reviewing your VODs. Replay the VOD and your duels in slow motion or frame by frame to see whether the crosshair says that you were really accurate before you started firing. Because a lot of the time what happened to me was that in game I felt like I stopped moving before firing. But when I reviewed the VOD frame by frame and in slow motion, I saw that I'm actually maybe like one, two, three, five milliseconds too fast on firing. And that my first bullet, only my first bullet, is not accurate, but my second, third, fourth, and fifth bullets are accurate. And I would never have noticed that if I was just reviewing the VOD at normal speed with a normal crosshair. Because it's almost accurate, it's very close, but it's just a little bit off a lot of the time. And without reviewing the VODs in slow motion, without re reviewing the VODs frame by frame, without these crosshairs, there's no way I would have noticed that. So this might be helpful to you. Definitely check it out. If you don't know how to play back your VOD um, in slow motion or frame by frame, I suggest using a software, a video editing software like DaVinci Resolve. It's completely free and you can just click the right arrow key to go through step by step every single frame, see what changed, see whether you were completely accurate, see whether you moved, see whether you stopped before you fire, and that will help you a ton. Now these crosshairs give us a way to check whether we are good at a variety of aiming concepts in Valorant, like movement error, firing error, bursting, spraying, etc., etc. But if you want to improve your aim in these areas, then you have to understand the fundamentals of aim in Valorant and break it down into its components so you can identify which part of aiming are you not good at? Which part of aiming do you need to improve at? So check out this video up here on fundamentals of aim in Valorant. <laughs>